Riveting content. Empowering your life. Welcome to The Sphere. This episode is sponsored by Houston Housewives of Finance. For more information on increasing your cash flow, becoming your own money manager, and to schedule your complimentary personal finance strategy, contact the Houston Housewives of Finance today at 1-844-700-4463. Elite Dental Wellness. At Elite Dental Wellness, Dr. Ashandra Batiste understands that one of the biggest obstacles is dental fear. The vision at Elite Dental Wellness is to ensure every patient is treated with respect, ultimate care, patience, and love. Call us today to make an appointment at area code 713-789-8680. Looking to advertise? Join the Sphere's vast demographic reach of thousands of people all over the world. Send an email today to advertise at thesphere.tv or call us at area code 832 772-7789. Welcome to A La Carte, your premier cooking show where we're hosting the best chefs and caterers in Houston. I'm your host, Chef Jones with Good Meal Deals Personal Chef Services. You can find me on any social media to be exact, Facebook, you can find me Good Meal Deals, or on Instagram, you can find me Good Meal underscore deals. Today, we have a very, very special guest in the studio. Of course, I have to keep bringing you guys these great guests on the show. It's that season. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and pass it off uh, to Mr. Chef Tim. How you doing? I'm doing fine. How are you, Mr. I'm Robert? doing great. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming out today okay because we need you we need you here on the sphere <laughs> so uh tell them tell them a little bit about what you do oh well, i'm chef tim um and i consider myself as the community chef so i started a program in 2007 uh to uh teach people in a low-income community how to enjoy the fruits that they love wow. on a healthier basis okay so, uh, that's awesome and look at that look at that website those pictures i did check out your website the other day before you got on the, uh the show and i was like hmm. photography is everything with websites because it really brings in the people and it speaks your purpose of course uh so why do you enjoy like i see your jacket says cooking healthy why do you enjoy cooking healthy well <clears throat> what what got me into the, uh doing this is um uh I started out cooking in the uh, military for eight years. And wow. I was a cook. And uh, uh, coming out of the military, I was diagnosed with high blood pressure mm -hmm. and considered overweight. Okay. And so after the military, I decided to take my education a little bit farther with uh, culinary school at Houston Community College. Great. And it was a program called Cooking uh, Healthy Cooking. Okay. And so with my family having um, a history of heart disease, I wanted to do something different with my cooking. Okay. And so, um, and I know in a black community or low income community, a lot of people figured that they couldn't eat healthy. Yeah, because it's it not a lot of options right. over there. They was limited or it was too expensive. Mm -hmm. And so, I, I guess I took it upon my shoulder to uh, teach my family and also teach people in the community that you can enjoy those type of recipes and foods that you love yep. just with modification and substitution. That's right. There is always a way to enjoy things that you like. And that's something I always try to remind everybody, you know, eating healthy or clean or dieting or whatever people want to call it does not have to be so painful and boring. So it's very, very exciting. Um, tell them a little bit about your schooling and your background. Um, well, I graduated from uh, uh, Houston Community College Culinary Arts uh, in 2007. Mm -hmm. uh, played around in the field a little bit uh, for about <laughs> five years, and then I decided uh, I used to be a chef at Memorial Hermann. Wow. Um, in fact, uh, the senator that, that okay, uh, okay. got shot, I was her chef and her family chef. That and is so, cool. And, and a couple <laughs> of basketball players, Yao Ming, and stuff like that, but it was all hospital food. Um, so... Um, it was one lady that walked in the kitchen, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, she, and you know, my dream was to be an executive chef and everything. And it was this one lady that came in the kitchen, and she was telling the executive chef, 
how to do his job. And I was like, well, who is that lady? Yeah. And come to find out she was a dietitian. Wow. And I was like, oh, well, I think I'm working too hard for my money. So uh, that following week, I went up to Texas Southern University, mm -hmm. and I started looking into the dietitian program. Okay. And within the, the next following school year, I enrolled to be a dietitian. Great. Uh, dietetics. Yeah, I'm on my way. I'm on my way, man. Come on. <laughs> I'm Jonah. on my way. I'd like to say hello to our Facebook viewers. Hey, Lornette, I see you watching, girl. We miss you over here. <laughs> <laughs> we miss you. Of course, uh, tell us a little bit about your services. I'm pretty sure they would like to know more about uh, your services with your business, of course, what you do. So. Uh, uh, Chef Tim and it's called Cooking It Healthy and what Cooking It Healthy does is uh, I set up on-site uh, cooking demonstrations and health fairs and with the on-site demonstrations uh, I do a lot of programs with the American Heart Association uh, two or three years ago we started a program called Get to Go with the American Heart where we uh, serviced uh, uh, African American churches with wow. healthy cooking and now that program has turned into Simple Heart with Cooking so I do all the American Heart Association Simple Hardwood Cooking with uh, corporate cooking classes. Whoa! And now I have a uh, and Cigna. Uh, mm -hmm. Also, uh, I do uh, for insurance companies. So insurance companies that have clients that's mm -hmm. into wellness, uh, they send me out to do with their, their different partners. So I'm in uh, Eventive. I'm working with Harris Hill. Wow. And uh, YMCA. Also, uh, do you work? Do with, you work with any kids? I did. Uh, in fact, uh, <clears throat> uh, three weeks ago, I think about a month ago, mm -hmm. uh, American Heart Association is trying to tap into uh, a cooking okay. demonstration with kids, and they did their first big cooking demonstration, and, and it went well. And, and That's awesome. Come to find out, the kids know more than the parents when it comes to nutrition. So, you ain't lying. You ain't yeah. lying. They pay attention now. They right. ain't paying attention to everything. They ain't going to pay attention to that. So How they like their food <laughs> and right. what they like and what they don't right. like, of course. Right. So. Yes, that is something. I see you have this uh, seasoning here on the table, a herb dust. It looks very, very interesting. I'm pretty sure it smells really good because I'm looking at it. I see a lot going on in there. Right, um, and then this is for you. Thank you. Uh -huh. You so. can definitely uh, tell them more about this. How can I get this up on the camera to shut up? Do we uh -huh. have a product? We do have our product placement. Product placement spot. But this, you guys, I'm not sure if you can see this. Well, uh, it's called Chef Tim Herb Dust. Uh, this is one of the, uh, when I first started doing my demonstrations uh, about 10 years ago, I started the demonstration in 2007. I always wanted to put together a seasoning mm -hmm. that would be, uh, you know, that would create a uh, good flavor and reduce the use of salt. And so uh, with Chef Tim Herb Dust, uh, what it has is no salt, no pepper included. Mm -hmm. uh, it has five uh, ingredients. And it has awesome. no preservatives and no additives. And what this does is it brings out the herb in everything you do. Because mm -hmm. my, my belief is that you can make your own seasonings at home. But two things that you don't want to put in your seasoning is salt and pepper. Yeah. Because any, any ingredient <clears throat> that has salt in it, you want to you wanna kind of keep the salt separate. That way you can yeah. control the sodium in your that's food. That's right. That's right. And control the heat. So what the Chef Tim Herb does, mm -hmm. Herb does do is add flavor to your foods and allow you to be in control of your sodium at the same time. That's right. Because some people, you know, they get that season. So right. They be yeah, you know, more season that you add, <laughs> more, season. more salt that you add. That's so. right. And people don't really think about that when they get those seasoning salts and other things out there. Exactly. Like you get in that flavor, but you're also getting so much sodium. Right. And like you saying with the black community, you know, known for frying chicken and all those other good things. We use seasoned salt a lot. So with right. us seasoning, using seasoned salt, we getting flavor, but we getting sodium. And that's right. another reason why the high cholesterol and all of those other things, blood pressure, it's just out of control. We got to we gotta get it together, y'all. We got to get we, it. We working on it. One, <laughs> what we say? One community at a time? So Yeah. We got to get it together. We got to. But, of course, for all you guys watching, I do want to make sure for us to be able to get this this great salt right here. I mean, because y'all got to get it. We're going to put the information out there so y'all know 
where to order it, where to hit Chef Tim up so you can get it. But with that being said, this portion of the show is sponsored by Houston's Top Wife of Finance. Did you know that only four states in the United States offers financial education? 30, 33% of more than 77 million of Americans don't pay their bills on time. 39% of Americans carry credit card debt from month to month, and 39% of adults say they don't have enough savings. Don't become one of these statistics. Let Houston Housewives of Finance advise you on increasing your cash flow and becoming your own money manager by scheduling your complimentary personal finance strategy. Contact Houston Housewives of Finance today at 1-844-700-4463 or email them at info at HoustonHousewivesOfFinance.com. Ask them how you can participate in a complimentary financial literacy workshop near you. And the Houston Housewives of Finance are the new faces of the new age of financial services. So, you guys, if you're trying to get your money right, I need y'all to hit up the Houston Housewives of Finance, okay? With that being said, uh, I want to ask you another question, uh, Mr. Chef Tim, because... I'm always full of questions. I know you was worried. Didn't want to like, oh, I don't want to pick my brain. I got you. I wasn't going to give you any hard questions this morning. Well, I'm a little shy, but I think I can handle a couple of questions. <laughs> it's okay. Now, with your business, do you have a staff that you work with, or is it just you? Or, like, how do you operate as far as when you do events events and things? Uh, basically, Basically, it's just me, but I do have uh, my chef, uh, chef buddy. I want to give a shout out to my my chef buddy, uh, Chef Giovanni Henderson. That's my Whoop. that's my, uh, <laughs> my 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 homie and uh, my helpmate. And so uh, when I have big events, uh, he's the one that helps me out. And also my wife, give a shout out to my wife, Miss Marcy Sally. You know, the ride or die. Right. Woo-woo. She's actually a nurse, but I'm trying to turn into a chef. So that's right. Uh, but we we. Uh, that's my team right there, and, and we go from there. That's what's up. That's what's up. It's always good to have that good support team and people mm-hmm. that you know and you can trust, and right. you know they're going to mm-hmm. hold the fort down right. if you ever go down one day. So that's really, really good. Of course, we want to make sure you guys on Facebook are subscribing. That is something that's very, very important. You want to subscribe to all our major platforms, whether it's iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher, or Google Play. It doesn't matter if you have an iPhone or Android. You got a computer. You can go on the www.thespear.tv slash a la carte and click any of those buttons. Or if you just feel comfortable watching it from there, you can. Also, be sure to review our shows in iTunes with that constructive feedback. We need that just to continue giving you guys inspiring and great content each and every week. Um, feel free to share. Sharing is caring. Like they always say, share. Hit the share button. Hit us with some emojis. The ha-ha face, the love, thumbs up, and share. I'm going to say it over and over and over, share. Um, Also, we would like you guys to donate our mission. Donate to our mission just for us to continue giving you that inspiring, great content each and every week. And you can donate at www.thesphere.tv slash donate. Whether it's a single donation or a donation on the Patreon we appreciate you guys, and we accept anything that you guys have for us. With that being said, we always don't like to give you guys the tea because you got to subscribe. That's why we tell you to subscribe so you can finish hearing what we got going on today because we got some good food news that I think a lot of moms out there will be very, very interested in hearing, which I think Chef Tim would probably be interested <laughs> in too. He's not a mother, but it's something that's good for everybody. Also, one last thing I do want to throw out there before we log off of Facebook. I hope everybody is going to be safe with this rain that's coming. I hope y'all went to the grocery store. I know it's hard because ain't no food and nothing, no eggs, no bread. But make sure y'all get it together because the storm is coming. But with that being said, we're about to log off. And I will see you guys later. Bye. Bye. All right. So we back. We back. We can't give them all the tea. We never we never give them the tea over here. Because they got to subscribe. They don't subscribe then, man. They missing out. 
But with that saying, we have a great food article, like I just said, and this is for moms to be. The name of the article is Moms to Be. Well, moms to be, beware. And basically, with this article that we have for you guys today, is talking about baby food. There's so many babies out here. A lot of people go to the grocery store buying baby food. So this is something that's very, very big. Now, this article talks about lead being found in baby food in the grocery stores on the shelf. Lead found in 20% of baby foods. Now, that is a problem. That is a big problem because, you know... That's what the kids eat. And a lot of people don't know how to make, well, I'm not going to say don't know how to or don't have time to actually make the baby foods from scratch or to to look and see. Just how they tell us when we go to the grocery store to look at the labels and things to see. But right. you can't look at a label with baby food and tell. You can't look at any food and tell if it's uh, lead in it or not. Right. But they basically said the Environmental Defense Fund said it was found 20% of 2,164 baby food and juice samples that they taste, uh, tested, which is not good. And the analysis covered 11 years of FDA data on baby food. So fruit juices and vegetables were among the worst offended, with the lead found in 89% of grape juices, 55% of apple juices, 86% of sweet potato samples and 43% of carrot samples. So there were no specific brands that were actually thrown out there, but that is just something just to keep in mind, the grape juice, the apple juice, the sweet potato and the carrot. Okay. Remember that mm -hmm. <laughs> you guys remember that, please. Also, um, with this moms to be beware article, since they are talking about lead in the foods and things we like to give you guys educational tips on how you know and I, I i just want to make sure this time with this article that our tip flowed and so that being said our tip today for you guys is the safety of baby food homemade baby food tips and that's gonna really help you guys if you want to go ahead and make your own baby food after hearing about an article like this you can and we have all of those steps here for you guys so with making homemade baby food and making homemade baby food safe the first step will be keeping things clean how you feel about that like you know with the bottles and everything and utensils it's just like if you're in the kitchen sanitation is the key to everything right. counter spaces whether it's knives because if you're going to be making homemade baby food you're basically cooking as if you were cooking a regular meal so Correct. yeah <laughs> so keeping things clean that's something i preach on a lot sanitation because if it's not safe for the food then it's a problem so making sure we keep in our of course our produce that we're going to be using for things uh if we have meats um Basically everything, keeping it clean. Now, the second step with making sure homemade baby food is safe is making sure that you're warming it right. Your baby can enjoy food at room temperature, but if it was like previously frozen or refrigerated, you have to make sure you keep it in a certain temperature, which is below 40 degrees. If it's hot, it needs to stay hot, 140 or above. And that's how you can basically keep uh, keep things at the right temperature. Also, when you're cooking it and you're trying to cool it down, if you're making it, maybe if you got a, a baby blender, a Nutri blender or something like that, you want to cook it. It's almost if you were doing meal prep. You have to cook it, get it to a certain temperature before you can actually serve and sell it. So... The third step for making sure homemade baby food is up to temp would be um, beware of cross-contamination. Once again, that just goes back into the sanitation. You have to make sure instead of feeding your baby directly out of the jar, use a clean spoon to put a small portion of the food in the serving dish. Or if even if your child wants some more food to eat, you can make sure that you put it in a separate container. But you never want to cross contaminate by feeding your child from the container and then putting it back in, the, dipping the spoon in. And it's just a lot going on. Also with cross contamination with making baby food, you want to make sure if you're going to be making uh something that's ready to eat you don't want to have it somewhere where it has to get cooked to cook off a certain amount of bacteria on it it's just like having a piece of a piece of apple on a cutting board after you just finish cooking chicken that chicken is going to get cooked to 165 to where the pathogens and everything is cooked off but the apple is ready to eat so 
you ready to get some salmonella? Right. <laughs> you ready Something. to get you ready to get some salmonella? Mm. And then of course we have our four step whip keeping uh baby food safe, which would be storing it smartly and safety. Now baby food it has a big risk of being left out, period, because it's homemade. Sometimes it's milk based or dairy based, I should say. And then a lot of things when it's open at that moment, it needs to make sure that it's being refrigerated right away just to ensure the freshness of it. With making homemade baby foods, labeling and dating is something that's very, very, very important because you want to make sure that it's not in the refrigerator too long, it's not out for too long, and you know exactly what you're feeding your child. So, man, I just gave him the tea, man. I just, the rundown, a whole cup full. But with that saying, we're talking about all this baby food. You know, babies don't have teeth yet. Of course, but when they do, we want to make sure you guys know exactly where to take your children. And that just brings me to this portion of the show, which is sponsored by Elite Wellness Dental. Elite Dental Wellness, excuse me. At Elite Dental Wellness, our vision is to create a welcoming practice that will offer exceptional dental care and a lifetime of dental wellness. We are committed to the finest possible oral care and the overall health and well-being of our patients. Elite Dental Wellness is built upon a foundation of integrity, expertise, and service. Through our commitment to modern dentistry, continuing education, and friendly atmosphere, we strive to make our patients feel that they are part of our family. Dentistry can be scary, daunting, and uncomfortable. Dr. Baptiste and her team works tirelessly to ensure your comfort. Make your appointment today with Dr. Sandra Baptiste at Elite Dental Wellness at 713-789-8680. Also, make sure when you guys are calling in, you want to make sure you say the sphere to get that 10% off. So when those babies get their teeth, time to get their first checkup, usually around six months, you want to make sure you're taking them over to Dr. Sandra Baptiste so she can give you that Elite Dental Wellness, okay? Woo, that was a lot. You gave him the spill. I gave y'all the spill. I gave <laughs> I just gave y'all the tea, okay? <laughs> now we finna get into the good part, of course. Always the food. This week we're gonna be making on the show barbecue beef filled biscuits. How you feeling about that? What you think when it comes to mind when I say barbecue beef filled biscuits? Like have you ever had that before? No, I don't think so, but it sounds good. <laughs> it's something mm-hmm. different, something very different. And this is almost, uh, you know, since the football time is around, too, I wanted to throw in something that can be used as a hors d'oeuvre, an appetizer, cocktail. You know, there's a lot of different ways to say it. But uh, this is something that is uh, very easy to make, budget-friendly, simple ingredients. doesn't take long at all. You can get your local ingredients in the store. We always talk about the good, better, and best way to do things. The good way being the traditional way, which will be using ground beef, green bell peppers, red bell peppers, the country biscuits. I'm trying to think. Fillsbury Doughboy. Yeah, y'all can use those, the country biscuits. And then Fiesta cheese would just be uh, a cheese blend with white and yellow cheese, basically. Now for our best, uh, the better way, which would be the healthy way to doing this meal. Of course, I'm all about the healthy way to do things. You can do a ground turkey. If you're not really big on ground turkey, you can always, if you want to stick to your beef, you can do a lean beef. They do offer lean beefs out there, 73% this and that, or 93% this and that. It just depends on your preference. Also, if you don't want to get rid of all the cheese, you can still do cheese, but you can do a part skim cheese with this meal. Of course, with cooking this, uh, usually when you're cooking your meats, you can use a little bit of extra virgin olive oil to cook your meats, a little bit of canola oil, and that should be good to go. And then for the last way, the best way, which is the fancy way. Everybody like their food fancy. I know <laughs> I do. But with this meal... Adding bacon. Bacon is always good. You can add herbs like parsley, chives, etc. So many herbs that you can add. Portobello mushrooms are really, really rich in flavor. Asiago cheese, smoked Gouda cheese. I couldn't put all the cheese on there because usually I just say more cheese. I put more cheese. So that means you can do whatever cheese it is that you want to put 
on your biscuit, of course. Now, with that being said, in the kitchen, we are going to be showing them how to make these barbecue beef field biscuits. I know it sounds different because people are usually used to just putting biscuits, putting the biscuits on the pan, and that's it. But with this method, we're going to be using a cupcake pan flipped upside down just so we can make sure we get the shape of our biscuit there. And then once we get it like that, then we're going to be able to stuff it. But we're going to definitely show you guys how to do this once we make it to the kitchen. With that being said, I also want to make sure you guys are following us at the Sphere TV hashtag a la carte. We want to uh, see any pictures. If you have any questions or comments, any concerns or anything, make sure you guys are hitting us up at the Sphere uh, at the sphere tv hashtag a la carte or you can email us at a la carte at the sphere dot tv with any questions any recipes you want us to try any restaurants and all those great things uh also with this portion of the show it is sponsored by the sphere tv now if you're looking are you starting a business and looking for a place to advertise do you need to reach out to thousands of people across the world to build your brand or sell your product? If so, get your product placement and advertising needs handled right here at The Sphere. We offer a wide variety of content delivery platforms, including iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, YouTube, and Stitcher. Plus, we have a vast demographic reach within the United States, as well as in modern countries across the globe. Our rich content and inspiring dialogue coupled with your strategic ad is surely to hit the mark every time. Call us today at 832-772-7789 or send over an email to advertise at thesphere.tv. So you guys want to make sure you jump on this. This is a great platform to boost your business if you're looking for that extra exposure of course we have our great guest on the show chef tim i'm gonna go ahead and pass it off to him so he can let you guys know where to find this great salt i can't wait to go home and try it because i'm big on flavor and the season and i can get it healthy man so i'm gonna go ahead so let them know where we can get this great salt let them know your website, social media, everything. Just put it out there, Chef Tim, because we need them to get to you immediately, okay? Okay. Thank you, Chef <laughs> Robin. Chef Robin, uh, uh, you can find my seasoning on my uh, web page. It's www.timsattler.com, and you can click on to the herb dust link, and it will tell you, it'll give you a little history about the herb dust. And you can order your uh, seasoning there. Uh, it's $5 a piece. Or if you want to order more for your family, you can order, uh, f uh, you get f if you order five, I will give you uh, one free. So you can get your case for $25. Woo -woo. Um, and like I say, uh, once you once you put the herb dust on your meal, now it becomes a herb dusted dish, right? That's right. Um, also, you can uh, uh, link on to my Facebook page. It's Chef Tim Sattler. Or you can go to my regular page. It's Tim Sattler. Uh but I do have an Instagram that I, I, I normally post of food pics. Oh, and yeah. I like people to, when they get the herb dust, to uh, send their pictures to me at Chef Tim Zero One on my Instagram page. Awesome. So make sure you guys are checking it out. I also seen on your website that you uh, offer like recipes and things. So if they want to get recipes from your website, can they do that? Uh, kind of, sort of. I, I like, uh, if you, if you email me and you, you are, uh, interested in getting certain recipes, mm -hmm. uh, that I will send it to you. I don't post a whole bunch of recipes yeah. because I don't want everybody to get my idea. They don't need the tea. That's right. They, they don't That's need right. the tea, but I do have a, <laughs> uh, I have a book out, but I, I, I am revising my book. So, uh, hopefully by the end of the year, I re republish my book, republish my book and it's going to be bigger and better. Awesome, awesome. Well, you guys heard it here. Hope you guys are excited now and hungry and ready to just get it started in the kitchen. Of course, we always want you guys to get your aprons. We have blue aprons, team a la carte. So if you want to get you a blue apron and whatever apron you got, go ahead and put your apron on. Go ahead and print your recipe out. If you're listening on the radio, make sure you make a mental note how your Siri put it in your calendar somewhere. Make a note to make sure you get your recipe so you can go ahead and get these barbecue beef filled biscuits. But I would like to thank you guys and stick around because we're about to head to the kitchen. Thank you. Bye.
Welcome back to the kitchen portion of a la carte. I'm your host, Chef Jones. We're here in the kitchen and we're about to get cooking, you guys. I uh, hope you all have already, I can't talk today. I hope you guys have already gone and getting your recipes. Uh, put your apron on, of course, and get all of the utensils that you need. Today, we're, of course, going to be making a barbecue stuffed or filled biscuit. Of course, I want to start off with our good way, which is the traditional way of all of our ingredients. We have some ground beef here. We have the Fiesta cheese, as I call it, or you can find a, just a Mexican blend cheese. We have our red and green bell peppers. Our barbecue sauce, you can use any flavor that you like. I specifically like hickory smoke or mesquite, which is fine. And of course, our biscuits here. I just have one biscuit, but that's only because I pre-baked biscuits for us today, so they will be ready to go. So what you want to do to start off, also I have the meat uh, that is already pre-cooked, so it wouldn't take away too much of your time, but uh, this was pre-cooked. You don't want to season it with anything, and the reason for not seasoning your ground beef is because your barbecue sauce has all of the seasoning that you're going to need for this meal, along with the cheese, that natural saltiness that comes along with that. So to start, since we have our meat already pre-cooked, we're going to go ahead and place it in our pan on a medium low heat because of course this one is already done before you guys at home you can go ahead and do it on a medium high heat just to get that meat cooking you don't have to add any oil or anything because i'm pretty sure you guys know when you're cooking ground beef the whole pan is swimming so gonna go ahead and place that beef inside then we're going to take our peppers these are freshly cut peppers so they are not pre-cooked or anything and we're going to place these right on the inside of our pan okay and you just want to saute that around and just cook the bell peppers in with your meat until the bell peppers have softened and they'll probably lighten a little bit in color that's when you'll know of course along with the ground beef being cooked that they are done and you want to saute that for a minute or two. Next step, you want to go ahead and add in your barbecue sauce. Now this varies. I know the recipe only calls for one third cup of, I use Kraft barbecue sauce, but feel free if you really love barbecue sauce to throw in as much as you like. I'm gonna repeat the same thing for the cheese because everybody likes cheese. I like cheese as well. <laughs> and so you're going to just mix that barbecue sauce in really, really good. It smells delicious. It looks good. We are going to let that go. And now I'm going to get into the explanation, the secret behind these biscuits. So I know y'all probably wondering how I got these biscuits to look like this. These are regular, um, feels very country style biscuits you can use the butter tasting I think they call them butter loving flakies country style southern style it's just different today these are the southern style biscuits and with these you want to use a muffin pan flipped upside down and what you want to do is get some pan spray spray the pan really nice not too much I didn't have to spray my pan a lot because I had butter the butter southern style biscuits and you just place them upside down and fold it so that it coats the back end of the muffin pan and then you just bake it as regular following the instructions on the can for eight to ten minutes until golden brown and then you pull them up and they look just like this ready to be stuffed so we're going to take it back over to the, the saute pan as you guys can hear it is really cooking now looks delicious all right preferably you can add in cheese while it's in the saute pan or you can just wait to top the cheese at the top but i like to have cheese all throughout the actual dish so i'm going to go ahead and dump in just a little bit half of my cheese on the inside just to ensure that it's extra cheesy and we're going to just also stir that right in. 
Now this meal is very, very good for football um, occasions or if you're having a party or if you want. This is actually a good kid-friendly meal as well. It's very appealing and I'm pretty sure the kids would be excited to eat it because I'm pretty sure they haven't seen a stuffed biscuit before. <laughs> so we're going to take this out. This is now ready. And I'm going to put it in a pan so I can show you guys how it looks. And it smells delicious. So you have it here. Pretty sure you guys can see that. You see the bell peppers have lightened in color. Everything is completely combined. The cheese is holding it together. Now we're going to do the fun part, which is actually stuffing our biscuits now. You can take a spoon or you can feel use your spatula but I prefer a spoon take one of your biscuits and we're gonna go ahead and place it right on the inside right on the inside of this biscuit and don't be afraid to fill the biscuit up even if it overlaps outside of the biscuit it's okay it's very good for visual appeal once you place the cheese on top and it actually caramelizes in the oven. It'll be a nice golden brown cheesy look on top of a stuffed biscuit. So we're going to put this right on the inside. Just like that. And you want to stuff it in there really, really good. This looks delicious. Okay. And we're actually going to move these stuffed biscuits from here. We're going to move them here to the baking sheet because these are about to go inside of the oven for another three to four minutes. You want to have your oven set for 375 degrees, uh, and just only for three to four minutes, just enough time to get your cheese on top of your biscuits melted because everything on the inside is already going to be cooked. So we're going to place that cheese. I like cheese, so I'm going to put a lot of cheese on top of this and that looks really good all right so now I'm gonna take these two and I'm gonna place them in the oven for three to four minutes just until my cheese is melted then I'm gonna take it out and show you guys how to plate it awesome so in the meantime I am going to uh, talk more about this meal and the reason this is more one of my creative meals that I came up with because you know I really love bread I'm a bread eater and I like things that are stuffed it's almost like if you had a stuffed pizza everyone loves the stuffed crust with the cheese in it and so I thought this would be a very great idea to incorporate meat with biscuits you can even try this recipe here if you want to switch it up a little bit. You could try it with breakfast instead of putting the ground beef in the peppers. Go ahead and cook your eggs and your breakfast sausages and crumble it up and throw your cheese in there with those bell peppers and you have stuffed breakfast biscuits. So you could do this recipe in so many different ways. But of course, feel free. I do want you guys to make sure you are sharing and following us on all our major platforms. Of course, you can find us iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, and Stitcher. Also, you want to make sure you're liking and uh, sharing on social media such as Facebook. Go ahead and share this. We want to get this out there. If you guys are subscribed, you know the subscribed viewers are always seeing us. But if you want to share this good with people who are not subscribed, make sure you are pressing that share button. Also, if you have any questions, I want you guys to go ahead and email us at the sphere.tv, a la carte at the sphere.tv. Got to get it together, y'all. But a la carte at the sphere.tv. I don't want y'all to miss out. I'm like, I can't get questions. Now I want to make sure it's right. You can also follow us on Instagram at the sphere TV, hashtag a la carte. Post me in those pictures because I want to see those biscuits, y'all. Okay. So our biscuits should be ready so I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out the oven all right so our biscuits are ready 
Now that I want to put a little hint for all you guys with granite counters, make sure you use those heat protectants. But biscuits are ready and looking very, very good. The cheese has melted on the top. The biscuits are heated up and they're good to go. Now also you can feel free once the biscuit is actually already done, go ahead and drizzle more barbecue sauce on top. Uh, you can do more cheese on top, you can do more herbs, all of those great things that we have provided you guys with the good, better, best, which is our traditional, our healthy, and our fancy way. So if you want to step this recipe up a bit more from what we've already given you guys, feel free to do so. And once again, tag us in it on social media, on Instagram at the Spirit TV hashtag a la carte because we do want to see it. But this is the finished product. Very simple cost efficient and of course it's going to be delicious so i want to thank you guys so much for tuning in with us this week i want to make sure uh, you guys have everything you need make sure you're going online to get those recipes and be sure to check us out next week